next, uh, for our first debater for the Ohio uh, State side, we've got Lisa Berry. Lisa is a comedian here in Columbus, and as well as a producer of shows at the station, which is just across the street, the last Thursday of every month. I believe this is your second grade debate? Yes! Let's hear it for Lisa Berry, everybody, for Ohio State! Yeah, like Dan said, this is my second one. I'm really excited to be here. Michigan is a great rival of us. I think most people here know what Ohio State brings to the rivalry. Uh, Michigan brings a lot, too. They have a lot of great coaches in their past, like Gustav Ferber, George Little, Gary Mueller, Bo Schembechler, Brady Hope, Jim Harbaugh. You know what all of those Michigan coaches have in common? They're all from Ohio, and we kicked them out. What do you call a bad football coach from Ohio? A Michigan coach. <laughs> Here's how terrible Michigan coaching is. Uh, like many people have mentioned, they did have maybe the greatest quarterback of all time, Tom Brady, on their team, and they sat him on the bench for two years. And then they had him split time with Drew Henson. I didn't even know who that was. I had to look him up on Wikipedia. You know what picture he has on his Wikipedia page? A picture of him playing baseball. That's who you split time with Tom Brady. Jim Harbaugh is from Ohio, went to Michigan. His brother John is from Ohio, went to Miami of Ohio. Yeah, guess which one won the Super Bowl? Jim Harbaugh's like the great value brand of Harbaugh's. You know they were made in the same place, but there's one that's much better quality. <laughs> Michigan is really proud to call themselves a public Ivy. Uh, they're a public university, but they like to pretend that they're as good as an Ivy League school. Well, at least your football team plays like an Ivy League team. <laughs> yeah, you're a, an Ivy League school that can't, can't count past one ramp. You literally have the largest stadium in the country and you couldn't find room for a second ramp. I don't know if you guys have heard, uh, but real Ivy League schools had a, a scandal a few years ago where they were letting people in who maybe didn't live up to the qualifications to be at an Ivy League school, so they've cracked down on legacies and also athletic scholarships for people that don't quite qualify to actually be in an Ivy League school. So good news, Michigan, your next recruiting class is set. You can just take Harvard's rejects. Uh, I, uh, I actually, I did go to Ohio State. I, I went to, yeah. I went to all the football games while I was there. I'm still a huge fan. Um, but like, I get it. I do know why people sometimes don't like Ohio State. Like, we tried to trademark the word the. <laughs> I get it, we're the baddies. Um, but so I do just wanna take a minute and, and tell Michigan on behalf of the Ohio State University, I wanna say you're welcome for all of the money you're gonna get for the TV deal that we got you. <laughs> so let's be honest, without us, the Big Ten is basically the MAC conference. <laughs> oh, it's okay, Akron and Ohio University. Just because you've never played a primetime game, you're still a real football team. <laughs> it's adorable. You know, I'm gonna break character for a second. Uh, believe it or not, this is not my full-time job. I'm an accountant. And uh, my CFO went to Ohio University, and I didn't know he was gonna be here today. <laughs> so come back next year to find out if this is now my full-time job. <laughs> uh, but again, just to be clear, we're the ones that got the big TV deal and all of the money for that TV contract. Uh, so whenever you're working out, 
in, uh, in whatever fancy, fancy facility you're able to buy with that money. Because again, to be clear, you're basically the free U2 album to our iPhone. I hope you at least have this decency to call that facility what it is, the house that Brutus Buckeye built. So with that, Buckeye country, let's ride.